So there is a brand new 3D printer just announced, the Evelson T1 Pro. Is it really a pro? Well, let's find it out together in Zach React, right here, Zachary's 3D prints. Hey, Zach here, welcome to this video. Yes, Evelson T1 Pro, it is going to be the professional version on their already existing T1. But compared to that one, what are the differences? Can you spot them? Well. In this Zach React, let's uh, give my thoughts and ideas about this brand new 3D printer. And so here it is. Well, basically it is a video playing over and over again with the brand new features of this 3D printer. Well, they say, I, I think they tried to say like perfect first layer. Well, if you are looking to the video more closely, you will see that there are still layer lines very much visible. When we scroll a little bit down the Avalson T1 Pro highlights. To compare this to the T1, I have this one as well. And what can we find right here? Both have a epic speed of 1000 millimeters per second. Compare that one to your normal standard Coriality and the 3 Pro. We are talking about pros anyways. You know, like 50 or 60 millimeters per second printing speed. Now we have like 1000 millimeters per second printing speed, which is cool. Well, in the T1, like a, a high pressure turbo fan, it's like having this little turbo boost snails on your 3D printer. There's a big hose running from the top all the way to the bottom. There is a um, cozy printing experience down to 55 decibels. Uh, so they will say like, okay, normal 3D printers have like a 45 decibel or maybe 60 decibel sound volume. And basically the only thing that you will hear are the fans. Maybe brands can do something about that? New engineering, new algorithms, very cool, smooth. I will believe that. The maximum printing volume of this 3D printer, it says 330 millimeters. Well, basically that is on the tip because it is not a 3D printer. We were saying, or I said like 1000 millimeters per second print speed. This is the maximum speed of the tool head with a one in small on the back of it. So these are in the most ideal settings or in the most manner to get the print printing as fast as possible. The acceleration is like 30,000 millimeters per second squared of the tool head and the peak flow is 90 millimeters cubed per second. So it is basically the same thing right over here because on the T1 we had also a max flow of 90 millimeters cubed per second. The acceleration and the maximum printing speed was exactly the same thing. You can print a Cybertruck on this Delta 3D printer. So probably on the Pro you will get the better printed version of the Cybertruck if you want to. They are saying here Delta is the future. Well, I've been to many of those uh, form next kind of 3D printing conventions. I do need to say that you see also a lot of Delta 3D printers there as well. But I can tell you, you have to have a very thick wallet in order to pay for those kind of Delta printers. They are awesome. I do like the Delta mechanics. They are amazing. But Core XY, we see more and more Core XY. And I think like for Apple Sun, not going the Bamboo Labs route in copying and pasting what they are doing. No, they stick to their Delta 3D printers and upgrading them and making sure that they are faster than the previous model that they produced. Name out one other brand that is very actively working on Delta 3D printers. I can only name one other brand. It's called Prusa, but they just released like a couple of months ago, a Delta 3D printer. Very cool. The fun part is I see here a, I think this is a Marlin engine bell for, for a rocket. And you know which other 3D printing brand is showing off rocket engine parts. <sighs> Try to be your original, please. Anyways, I do like the color. It's blue. Printing time compared the T1 Pro versus a Core XY 3D printer. The T1 Pro Delta prints this bunny in 42 minutes and 28 seconds, where a normal Core XY 3D printer, one hour and 28 minutes? Hey bunny, which kind of Core XY are you talking about, Sun? Are you talking about a normal standard Core XY 3D printers that are not running on Clipper nowadays? Just saying, I mean, most of the printers that are Core XY nowadays are running Clipper and are fast. 
Cooling system, cool down, efficiency up. I do see this turbo prop fan. It looks like a very cool design. It is transparent, although on the uh, T1, it was dark, it was black. So I hope that this one looks cooler because it is transparent. I would like it. At high speed printing, it produces sounds like 55 decibels. So 55 decibels, which kind of sound loudness do you need to think about? Well, according to FL Sun, you have to compare it to the Amsterdam channels and that sound is basically between the 52 and the 62 decibels. Because I see the Amsterdam canals, so I think it must be okay, right? So normal environments on a normal quiet residential area. People at FL Sun, if you want to do a tourist kind of thing one day to the Netherlands, I would happily guide you through the Amsterdam channels in order to give you an impression how loud it can be during the day. Because this isn't res residential, this is normal, a big city kind of environment. You get the idea, right? Basically, normal 55 decibels, you will hear the printer printing. Speed plus quality is productivity. I agree on that when you have a faster printer and the quality looks nice, you got a nice productivity. Makes total sense, right? First layer printing, precision for every layer. So it has auto leveling, so that is nice. But I'm, I'm going through this and comparing it to the T1. I don't know how much difference there is between the T1 and the T1 Pro. What is making the T1 into a Pro compared to their previous version? I'm really looking to that because this also this one has an enclosed chamber and it also heats the chamber up because the T1 did have it. So I assume that this Pro also has it. Efficient hot end. Basically, it is looking like the same here. So here we have the hot end from the T1. If you look very closely, you have a little bit angle. No, exactly the same. This can print also at a 300 degrees C. Also 300 degrees C. So compared to the T1, it does do exactly the same thing. 110, 110, 300, 110. Chamber temperature. I also believe that this one also has a, a 50 degrees chamber temperature and so here we have the build volume so the actual build volume i don't want to push it too far but the official print volume is 260 times 285 not 330 because since it is a delta 3d printer the arms needs to move the tool head in order to get to the point with a core xy 3d printer you have a cubed volume so you know you know where i'm going exactly there because here we always have to think about the arms that moves the tool head in order to print something. And when the arms don't have the proper movement going on, because it's getting higher to the end stops, it cannot move anymore. So you are getting very limited in the end. So your printing volume is 260 times 285. So real-time monitoring. I think that this camera is exactly the same camera as the one here. Yes, basically the same touchscreen guide. So that is nice. Time lapse. You have a camera. You can real time monitoring it. Uh, it has a filament run out sensor. I think that this one has it as well. Yeah, this one has also filament run out. So that is also resumes after outages. Yeah, power of recovery also here. The same thing. And if you are looking to it, it's, it's basically the same kind of printer. And a disclaimer, I would suggest just to read the whole thing through. If I need to give my honest opinion about this, I would say like, I don't know if I have missed anything. Probably I did. But I mean, like you have the T1 and the T1 Pro. What's, what is making the T1 into a Pro? What did they add to this 3D printer to make it better? make it faster, make it more precise, maybe changing a nozzle or the software. I didn't find anything. I was also going through it, uh, like 40 specs, stuff like that. It does look amazing. Uh, I mean, Delta 3D printers are sexy, but then think about the arms. They need to have some space where if you have a Core XY 3D printer, everything is all the way on the top. And in most cases, the Core XY 3D printer, the bed moves downwards and you have a square box printing volume instead of this conical in the top. 
Anyways. That's my thoughts and ideas about it. Uh, let me know in the comments what do you think about the T1 Pro from FL Sun. Do you think it's worth the money? I don't know how much this one is more good to buy. Oh, this is interesting. So if you are interested in buying the FL Sun T1 Pro without the discount, this 3D printer is $599 USD. And now with the 30% off, it's $399. They are going for your money and here yeah this this is not in, in in this is in euros i don't know why but anyways this one the apple sun t1 is 659 euros i will put the links in the description where you can buy the apple sun t1 pro if you made it this far in this video you are amazing if you are new here and not subscribed please subscribe and hit the like button and let me know in the comments, what do you think about the new Avelson T1 Pro?